Western volunteers are dying in Ukraine. It is difficult for a soldier to find a safe place here. Western volunteers who joined the Ukrainian armed forces in repelling Russian aggression often underestimated the intensity and brutality of this war. It cost many people their lives. A U.S. Army veteran who fought in Ukraine told Business Insider about this on condition of anonymity. According to him, veterans of Western armies who joined the ranks of the Ukrainian armed forces at the beginning of the war were accustomed to fighting with superiority over the enemy, but were forced to adapt to completely different conditions where the enemy outnumbered them in numbers and weapons. A lot of Westerners who came to Ukraine want to be heroes. I kept seeing guys who went to Ukraine and they treated it almost like a vacation and they didn't really expect to die, says the American veteran. He admitted that he had the same thoughts when he first arrived in Ukraine, but on the spot he realized how risky it was. The man came to fight for Ukraine at the beginning of the Russian invasion and returned home only in December last year. During this time, he managed to take part in battles in the Kharkov region and near Bakhmut. He previously had experience serving in Iraq as part of the American military contingent, so he has the opportunity to compare. In Ukraine, the pace is much higher, he admits. According to the American, it is more difficult for a soldier to find a safe place on the front in Ukraine due to the use of a large number of drones than in any other conflict in history. In addition, artillery and long-range weapons are constantly used here. Even if you're fucking miles from the front line, you can still get hit by a fucking missile, the veteran says, explaining why this is unlike conflicts in the Middle East where soldiers on base feel relatively safe. As Unayan wrote, foreign volunteers who defend Ukraine at the front belong to two separate categories. In the first, representatives of wealthy European countries who joined the ranks of the armed forces of Ukraine because of moral convictions, searches for adventure or hatred of Russia. In the second category are fighters from poorer countries who took part in this war for purely financial reasons. In particular, it was reported that several hundred veterans of the Colombian army are fighting in the International Legion of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. This country has waged war against drug cartels and communist guerrillas for decades and today has perhaps the largest army in South America. With the end of the war, many military professionals in Colombia were left without work. Nine people died in the northern Mexican state of Nuevo Leon after a stage collapsed at a campaign event for the Citizens Movement Party, the state's governor said. At least 60-50 people were also injured, Nuevo Leon Governor Samuel Garcia said on social media. The stage collapsed in San Pedro Garza Garcia, a suburb of Monterrey in the state of Nuevo Leon, during an event attended by the progressive candidate Jorge Alvarez Maynez and other members of the Citizens Movement Party. The collapse was caused by strong wind, President Andres Manuel López Obrador of Mexico said on social media. The wind picked up suddenly as candidates were chanting campaign slogans on stage, videos posted to social media showed. As the stage lighting truss slammed to the ground, people rushed off the stage to avoid getting crushed. Others in the crowd ran away screaming, some holding one another in the intense wind. Speaking to reporters, Alvarez Menez said civil defense teams had checked the structure of the set prior to the event but that the severity of the wind gusts had caught organizers by surprise. The weather conditions were very atypical, the rain didn't last for even five minutes, it wasn't even a storm, it was truly atypical what happened, he said. The presidential candidate said an investigation into the incident would take place. Governor Garcia urged people in the area to stay indoors, warning of more strong winds, thunderstorms and rain.